Hi guys and welcome to my new kitchen. So we recently remodeled our kitchen and this is definitely something that affects people with food issues because you can't just eat out easily and it is very challenging. And for years we talked about remodeling our kitchen. We really, really wanted to and needed to and we were struggling to find a way to navigate that. So I wanted to share this video just to sort of show the process and explain how we did it in case that could help somebody. So we found a guy who was recommended by someone who lives down the street. They have the same model house as us. We did a very different remodel than that person did, but we did use the same guy. Finding a good person is essential. The person who recommended him said that he was very honest, very good with his timing. You know, if he tells you it takes this long, it's going to take that long. He's really good at that. And he was affordable for what we did. So he told us it would take three weeks. It took three weeks to the day. Um, there was one more day where they came just for a couple of hours to do a couple of really minor little things. So they were a couple hours over the expected timeline. I'm totally okay with that. But let me tell you, it was three weeks and I'm going to show the day by day progression of the three weeks for you in case you're interested in that. What we did, so the refrigerator was in our living room. We were still able to use it. Um, all the other appliances were outside covered um, while they worked in here. So I know not everyone can do this, but think about it, consider it. If you're in this situation and you need to find a way to do this, we brought our motor home. We do have a motor home and we brought it and parked it out front and we used that kitchen area. And inside we also still had the toaster oven in the house here. We had toaster oven, rice cooker, um, blender. We, I mean, we could have put those in the motorhome, but it's a small space. So we chose to have those in here with the refrigerator. And then for every, for things we were cooking out there consistently in the motorhome, we kept those in the motorhome refrigerator. So it was kind of back and forth between the two. Um, I mostly used the microwave in the motorhome. Um, my husband and son did use the stove and we had our electric kettle out there. So I would go out there every morning to make my coffee or tea. My husband and son went out there every morning to make their breakfast and then lunch and dinner were just kind of whatever, depending what we're having. I kept it really simple. It was like, you know, a protein rice or quinoa or bean or a combination of, and some veggies. And I was doing a lot of like frozen veggies. <laughs> okay. So, um, I just kept it really, really simple. Lunch has always been a simple meal for me, you know, a sandwich, a rice cake. Um, I was actually doing a lot of uh, protein shake with cottage cheese or Greek yogurt. Those are my lunches for a lot of those three weeks, just because there was zero cooking involved or very little prep involved with that. So keep it simple. If you don't have a motorhome and you're like, I can't do that, you know what? Consider renting one. You can rent one. Um, and if you have a an HOA and you're like, HOA will not let me have a motorhome, we have an HOA. They don't allow that. Um, I contacted my doctor. I got letters for both me and my son saying we have celiac. Mine also included the eosinophilic esophagitis because that does affect my diet. But we told the head of security for our HOA what was happening. And he said, they cannot deny you that. That's a medical need they cannot deny it. And they actually never bothered us. It stayed here a whole four weeks. As we took a week long trip the week prior to Idaho for a funeral. So we went there and then we came home and we just kept the motor home here. It was here one additional week beyond that, just because we were moving back in, it was still a disaster even after all the work was done. So, give your, if you do it, give yourself an extra time, extra week, at least, um, timeline. Just if you are, if you have like a timeline with your HOA or something like that, or the renting it, um, extend the rental or know the time you need to have it at your house, extend it by at least a week because we were still having a very hard time 
managing and trying to get stuff moved back and figuring out what we're keeping, what we're getting rid of. That was part of the process. Um, because when we emptied out our kitchen, we had one day because of that trip to the funeral and we didn't know the start date of our contractor yet. He contacted us while we were on that trip and was like, I'm starting Monday. So we got home Saturday night, we unpacked and we spent all Sunday getting stuff out of the kitchen and we were not done. Monday morning when he showed up, we still needed like 15, 20 more minutes. And so that was really tough. So we didn't have time to empty it out in an organized fashion or planning or saying like, let's just get rid of that. Like it was rush, rush, rush. So hopefully you don't have that situation, but give yourself extra time to get your stuff back in and get in it. You might still be needing the kitchen in the motorhome for a little bit more, just FYI. So I hope you enjoy the progression. People keep asking me, you know, what does a kitchen remodel cost? Just roughly. It really, really varies. You know, we talked about just refacing the cabinets and putting your countertop. We talked about, you know, taking down the wall completely and having an open concept. I didn't think it looked good. Um, that's what we saw in the other model down the street. And I didn't like the idea and I didn't like the way it looked. So ultimately what we did, we took the wall down, moved it over to have a bigger kitchen space, but we also made it shorter, which opened it a little bit more. Um, I am very, very happy with what we did, but there's just so many different ways to do it. You can reconfigure, you can take stuff down, you can, and every little thing you did, we put a pantry in the corner, every little thing you do, has a different cost involved, right? So that's something you need to figure out what exactly you're doing, discuss it with your contractor and ask as you're planning, you know, what, what would this cost? What would that cost? Go into it knowing. And then when they give you the quote, you have the ability to know, well, that was kind of costing a lot. Maybe I'll take that out or maybe I'll change the just And just know, just know what you're getting yourself into. We were definitely overdue. And like I said, it was a tough thing with our situation, but we managed. And I don't think we ate out even once during the whole time. So we were kind of thinking like we could go to a couple trusted places if needed, but we didn't. So good luck to you. And let me know if you do remodel your kitchen or if you have remodeled your kitchen, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you managed and how it went. This is our before kitchen. This is week one, day one, where the demolition has begun. This is day two of kitchen remodeling, demolition. This is the end of day three. It looks to me like the demolition is complete. But we'll see what they do next. This is day four. Not a lot of change. They did cut into that wall um, right there. Mm, yeah, I think maybe they cut the floor. So this is day five of the kitchen remodel. And today they were putting up that wall and building the, um, the pantry area. And I know they did a lot of electrical work, but that's not really visible. But yeah, this is gonna be the pantry. Refrigerator will go next to it. And we did discuss and finalize the layout of everything this morning with our contractor. This is week two, day one of the kitchen remodel. 
I don't see a whole lot except the drywall put up on the wall. They did a lot of electrical work today and they did put a light in the pantry. And they drywalled the big hole in the ceiling where they raised the ceiling. So this is week two, day two. Not a whole lot. They did drywall up all the openings. There are electrical stuff all set up. They did finish drywalling here around the sink and they said that they have to use a special type of drywall anywhere there's water um, and it does not mold is the reason. There's some law that they have to use that. They are starting to put some texture on the drywall just on the like the corners and the seams. And then there's still light in here and another electrical line. They put the vent for the stove. But I think that's it. That's all I see. This is week two, day three. It's a lot more of this stuff on the drywall. There's a patch up there. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, there's some new holes for lighting, it looks like, and the wires are no longer hanging down like they were. Um, it's the same thing over here, just more of that stuff they're applying to the drywall. This is week two, day four. I don't see a whole lot of difference except more of this white stuff that they're putting. There are some electrical lines that maybe weren't there before. I'd have to go back and check the previous video. Um, same thing over here, just more of this white stuff that they're putting on the drywall. This is week three, day one. They are working on the floor and they put texture on the drywall today. So this is week three, day two. They started a little early today, they ended a little late, and they did a lot. So the cabinets are in, the pantry door is on. So this space will be the refrigerator, this will be the microwave, this will be the stove and oven. There's a new sink there that's gonna go there, and the dishwasher will go here. We still need the countertops and the back backsplash. And I think they're pretty much done with this wall. These are probably the shelves for the pantry. This is week three, day three. They put the quartz countertops on today. Um, tomorrow, they said they're gonna put the microwave back and then do the backsplash, which will be the same quartz. They put the sink in.
And no real changes over here. But it is really coming along and almost done at this point. So today is week three, day four. The plan is for tomorrow to be the final day and then the day after that, all the painting, painting in the kitchen. And then because of this wall we moved over is part of the living room, we're gonna repaint the living room. Uh, the lights are in. They had them on earlier, but there's no switch there. I don't know how to turn them on for the video. But today they did, they drilled these holes and they did all the backsplash. And the lights and the shelves in the pantry. And this is my after kitchen.